police looking for a missing woman out of Odessa, with this man being the sole person of interest in the case. And as you can see, two different appearances and one man. Now again, the boyfriend is a person of interest in the case, known for being a criminal chameleon, someone who changes their physical identity often between committing crimes. Local 2's Jenna Sands joins us live in the control room with more. Jenna. Stephanie and Horace, investigators are looking for small details that help separate notorious criminals to help them stand out. Now, police do sometimes arrest and detain innocent people with no malicious intent, and it's all thanks to the doppelganger effect. This woman has been missing for months. The person of interest in her case, a man of many identities. Notice the two photos look like two different people, but according to Odessa police, these photos are the same person. He goes back, he could have brown hair, he could have red hair. Investigators often keeping their eyes on details for giveaways. Uh, a lot of times it might be a birthmark, it might be uh, a tattoo. Uh, in this case, he does have very specific tattoos. When we're investigating cases, it's not, a, it's not uncommon for the suspects to uh, constantly change their appearances. Often leading to look-alike arrests. Yes, happens a lot more than people realize. Happening to one Odessa woman twice. And they told me that they don't go off of that. They were going off of the name alone. And my last name was such a common last name. It, that just kind of surprised me. Once during a traffic stop as a wanted woman with the same height, weight, and description, and another time during a driver's license renewal, Leslie Cipher says she was mistaken for another woman on the run for selling drugs. This officer came out in full uniform. He had handcuffs in his hand. He stopped and took a look at me and uh, went back around behind the counter or behind his desk and got to ask me a bunch of questions. Come to find out, someone with my, my same name was wanted for possession with the intent to distribute. Sometimes we get, we get the wrong person. Uh, that's why a lot of times we'll detain somebody. But once we realize, once we determine that we have the wrong person, then we'll quickly release them. Now, the person of interest for Bobby Joe Knight's case is a teardrop tattoo on the left side of his face. He's a white male with reddish brown hair. And if you have any information, be sure to contact Odessa Crime Stoppers. For now, live in the control room, Jenna Sands, Local 2 News. All right, Jenna, thanks for starting us off this evening.